Welcome to Gipsy First Year Students of Economics. Today we shall discuss about the one mass questions and two mass questions. These questions are very important in examinations. How will you write to know your definition and meaning of that meaning? It is the last uh, syllabus. Syllabus is ending of uh, first chapter. Let us see the one mark questions and two mark questions. The question is answer the following questions in a word or sentence. Each question, each question carries one mark. The first question is one mark. What is economics? According to Alfred Marshall, what is economics? What is economics? According to Alfred Marshall, according to Professor Alfred Marshall, the economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It examines individuals and social action in relation to attainment. Requisites of well-being. It is called economics, according to Alfred Marshall. Once again, according to Alfred Marshall, economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It examines individuals and social action in relation to attainment of requisites of well-being. It is called as the economics, according to Alfred Marshall. Question number two. Give the meaning of statistics in the plural sense. The question is second question is give the meaning of statistics in the plural sense. In plural sense, statistics refers to numerical facts or observations collected systematically. In plural sense, statistics refers to numerical facts or observations collected systematically it is called as a statistics in plural sense in what is or what are economic data the third question is what are economic data the economic facts in terms of number is called as the economic data what are the economic data the economic facts in terms of number is called as the economic data number question number 4 which subject enables the economists to present economic facts in a precise and definite form which subject enables the economists to present economic facts in a precise and definite form the answer is statistics the statistics gives the gives the precise and definite form which subject the answer is statistics there is a uh, one more uh, question is the it question of uh, quality or quantity we have to say the production of rice in india the production of rice in india has increased from has increased from 39.58 million tons million tons the production of rice in india has increased from 39.58 million tons in 74 million 19 Seventy four and seventy five. Seventy five to fifty eight point fifty eight point sixty four million tons in nineteen eighty four to eighty five. 
it is by identify whether the data used in this segment are quantitative or qualitative uh, the production of rice in india has increased from 39.8 million tons in 1974 and 75 to 58.64 million tons in 1984-85 identify whether the data used in this segment are qualitative or quantitative quantitative or qualitative the answer is quantitative Quantitative. What is quantitative? This is the whole equation from 39.58 to 58.64. It means that increase the quantity. Increase the quantity. It is the quantitative. This is quantitative. Quantitative. Answer is quantitative data. These are the one last questions. Now we have to study the second uh, our two marks questions answer the following questions in about four sentences each carries two marks two marks first question is give the two examples for quantitative data the question you have to remember once again give two examples for quantitative data quantitative data Quantitative means increase in sizes, increase in weights, increase in quantity. It is quantitative data. Give two examples for quantitative data. The answer is the quantitative data are number of children in a family. In a family, there are number of children. There are four boys, four girls. All together, eight. It is quantitative in size. Huh? Give two examples for quantitative data. Answer number one is number of children in a family. Second, number of students in a classroom. In classroom, there are number of students. It shows the quantity. Huh? Number of students in a classroom. It shows quantity. Number third answer is. Production of food in a place, production of food in a place, etc. These are the uh, three or two examples for quantitative data. In number question number two, give two examples for qualitative data. Already we have studied quantitative. Now qualitative. Qualitative. What quality? Quality. Literature, literacy, quality. How I am? You are beautiful. Beautiful is quality. How? The shirt is, is very beautiful. How? And the body is how? It's quality. It says quality. What's the the work of is good? And we can say the quality. It is quality. Give two examples for quality to data. The question is. Give two examples for qualitative data. The answer is literacy rate of Karnataka. Literacy rate of Karnataka. And the second answer is number of rich in area. Number of rich in an area. It is qualitative. And number third, skilled workers in a form. How the skills are? They are skilled. Skilled, it means quality. Skilled workers in a form. These are the three examples for the qualitative data. In uh, number three, two mass questions. Mention any two scarcity in your daily life. Mention any two scarcities in your daily life. Today you are facing number of scarcities. Today you are facing number of scarcities. You can say any scarcities except these two answers. You can say the scarcities of water, scarcities of electricity, scarcities of buses, scarcities of road, 
scarcity of aeroplane huh? you can say number of problems or scarcity is huh? the answer is scarcity of water scarcity of electricity these are the two examples for the scarcity is facing in our daily life the last last question is write any two resources which have alternative uses write any two resources which have alternative uses which resources alternative uses the answer is electricity the electricity is not used for one purpose it is used for various purposes like electric this uh, it is electricity is used for light electricity is used for iron electricity is used for cooking electricity is used for all, uh, mobile charging radio tv etc alternative uses it has alternative uses and the other answer is water the water is not for only drink it is for everything means cooking washing bathing and generation of electricity or production of electricity huh? the water is used for alternative uses these are the two alternative uses of resources electricity and water huh? you have to write the meaning of like this thank you